So next let's take care of adding that user knob. I'm just going to import a little helper function that will allow us to convert from focal length to field of view and vice versa. Note that we need the aperture in both cases. Once again we'll be writing a function to do what we want it to do and then add it through a callback. So this time around I'll call the function add fov knob like so and uh, because we'll run this through a callback once again we'll grab nuke.thisNode as the respective node reference like so next we'll create the actual knob and because we want a floating point slider we'll use nuke.double knob and we'll give it a name called fov lowercase and the label that shows up in the panel will be fov uppercase. After that I'm going to adjust its uh, ranges because the double knob usually comes in with a range of 0 to 1 which is not very helpful for a field of view slider. So I go fov knob set range and the minimum value in the slider should be 5 and the max should be 179 like so. So what's left is to uh, set a default value for that slider and in order to do that we need to look at the current node's focal length and aperture because we want it to reflect the field of view of the current settings. So we need to grab the node's focal length and we'll do this by using n which is nuke.thisNode and we'll access the focal knob like so and grab its value and then we'll do the same for the aperture, horizontal aperture. I'm just gonna worry about the horizontal aperture here and uh, here's the knob name we want to refer to and we want to grab that value as well. So now we're all set to actually create a field of view value as a default value so we go FOV knob set value and now we'll let the focal to FOV function above do the work for us but it needs the focal length and the horizontal aperture like so. Close the whole thing and now we've created the knob object, we've adjusted its ranges and we've given it a default value. Now let's actually add the knob to the node. So we go n dot add knob and give it the FOV knob. Oops. Like so. So this should all be ready to go. The last thing we need to do is use the actual callback to add this piece of code and we'll do this by using nuke.addOnUserCreate. This is the equivalent in Python for the old onCreate.tcl. And just like before, the first argument is the callable. So in this case, it'll be the add fov knob function. And the node filter stays the same. So it's just going to operate on camera two nodes. Right, so now if we did everything right, we should be able to see a new user knob if we create a new camera and that seems to have worked and you can also see that the field of view knob set itself to the respective field of view that the focal length and the current horizontal aperture would produce. So now what's left is to actually link the focal slider with the field of view slider which hasn't happened just yet. So let's look into that. Linking those two knobs will be the same exact workflow as we just used to actually add the field of view knob. So we'll define a function called fov CB for callback, call it whatever you want. And again, I'm going to grab nuke.thisNode. And also, because this function is going to be used in a knob callback, I'm going to grab nuke.thisNob. So this will enable me to understand which knob is currently being changed. And as usual, we need the horizontal aperture for the whole thing. So I'll grab it from n aperture and value like so. So now we're pretty much ready to make those two sliders talk to each other and because this function is going to be called every time a knob is changed we have to check which knob is being changed. 
So first of all, I'll go if k dot name equals fov and fov remember is the name we assign to our fov knob up here so if fov is being changed we want to modify the focal knob to reflect that change so we go n focal set value and we'll get the fov to focal function to do the work for us so this needs the current field of view And the current field of view is k dot value because we already checked that we're in the FOV knob, then simply the variable that holds the horizontal aperture. So close that function call and close the set value command. So this will enable the field of view slider to control the focal knob. Let's add another couple of lines to enable the focal knob to control the field of view slider. So we go else if or elif k dot name equals focal. So if the focal slider is being changed, we want to adjust the knob called FOV. And we'll be using the focal to FOV function for this again. So I'll just copy that from here uh, down here. And the current focal length is k.value. And aperture is the variable HAP. And now that we've got the function, Last but not least, we need to actually add the callback, which is what this is all about. So we go nuke dot add knob changed. Add knob changed will be triggered every time any knob is changed in the interface unless we use node filters. So once again, like before, we'll give it the callable FOV CB and we will use a node filter, which is just like before camera two. So once we run this, every time a camera two nodes knob is being tweaked in any way, this function is executed. But since we do the check on which knobs we actually want to operate, only the field of view and the focal sliders are going to be affected. So now let's go ahead and execute this, but make sure to not run the whole thing again because we've already executed this part and we don't want a second FOV slider. So I'll just select this block here and run that and now create a new camera and now you can see that when I change the FOV slider the focal length changes and uh, it's just punch in a round number and if I change the focal length the FOV changes 